We're here in Chicago at the Big Telecom event, and we've been talking this week a lot about SDN and NFV, but I'm here at the Symantec booth, and we're talking about security. Now, at Symantec, Paul, you have sort of a unique perspective. How do you see security being implemented in an SDN and NFV environment? Well, uh, well, that's a great question. We've uh, looked at this quite a bit, and we think there's going to be a fundamental shift as carriers move to an NFV, SDN environment. Uh, right now, most of the security is provided by hardware appliances, hardware appliances or integrated uh, servers and, uh, and software. And we think one of the changes is going to be that we're going to migrate to a virtualized image where there'll be security instances that will sit in the, uh, in the NFV and they will exist and provide those functions within that context of a virtualized environment on commercial off-the-shelf servers. So we think it's going to be very, very different, and it's going to usher in a new generation of security functions that'll be there. We also think that it's going to be important for the carriers as well, because now they're going to have more of an ability to provide security as a service, which would be a service that they could charge their customers for, providing value to those customers, and we think that Symantec is in a great position to play in that space, to look at that and figure out how we take all of the data, all of the analytics we have, and apply those security functions into a virtualized environment. Thanks for that. Where and how do you see NEPs playing in this market? So another good question. I think that what we're going to see is there's going to be a range of uh, ways in which the NEPs play. So we think there'll be a lot of new upstarts that will have more narrow functions. If you look at a firm networks, for example, they were selected by AT&T to be the EPC uh, implement for uh, AT&T's uh, Domain 2.0. Uh, and I think on the other side, you'll see folks like Cisco that will come in and try and look at a whole end-to-end -end vision. There'll still be those uh, NEPs that will take a look at this as an end-to-end -end solution that they need to bring together and test as a carrier infrastructure. And in other cases, I think you'll get carriers that will look at integrating that themselves and taking best of breed components and pulling that together into a virtualized environment. Thanks, Paul. I see behind you, you have a demo on the mobile analytics dashboard. Can you just briefly tell me a little about it? Just real quickly, what we did is we put this demo together to show the capabilities we have with our security data feeds. So we have analytics and data feeds that we provide to mobile operators, and with this we have the ability to capture that information, look at what's on the devices, and do some analysis of what the threats are that the carrier is faced with. Paul, thanks so much for your time. Thanks a lot, appreciate it very much.